who is the strongest arm wrestler in the history of the sport? If we could have a tournament consisting of every arm wrestler ever in their prime, who would win? In the arm wrestling community, there are constantly people wondering what would happen in hypothetical matchups that will never be possible. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 strongest arm wrestlers in history. This video will only be looking at the absolute peak of each puller's career. It doesn't matter if they had bad losses or kind of fell off at some point. Disclaimer, this list is entirely subjective and probably wrong. Starting with the number 10 guy on the list, it has to be prime John Berzink. Now was John really the 10th strongest arm wrestler in history? Would he have had a chance against people like Ermes or Vitaly of today? I'm not sure, but what I do know is that if John was not on this list, people would report my video and try to take my channel down. So John is top 10. Moving on to the number 9 guy on the list, we have Prime Vitaly Lilletin. Vitaly still goes down in history to this very day as having the best round 1 attempt versus Levon since 2018. Vitaly versus Levon took place in 2019, and although Vitaly never quite had enough purchase in the match to pin Levon, he sure did give him a ton of trouble. The only reason Vitaly is not higher on the list is because this match took place way back in 2019. Pretty much everyone will agree that 2022 Levon is way stronger than 2019 Levon. So while Vitaly's performance is super impressive, it wasn't against peak Levon, so we have to consider that. Moving on to the number 8 spot of the list, we have Prime Richard Lubkees. Now, I am cheating a little bit when including Richard in this list because I'm taking Richard's lack of technique into consideration when ranking him. The idea is that if Richard had the technical level of someone like Devin Larratt, he would have had far better results than he did. And really, this list is more so about peak strength rather than peak technique. Richard has some pretty great matches including wars with Denis Saplinkov in the latter part of his career. But Richard's peak very well may have been back before people like Dennis were even arm wrestling, so it's pretty difficult to gauge Richard's peak level, but number 8 feels like a pretty decent guess. Moving on to the number 7 strongest arm wrestler of all time, we have Dave Chafee. Dave Chafee is an absolute beast. He's another guy on this list known for not having the greatest technique, but even so, he still has the results to back it up. Dave is one of the few people on this list with a win against Denis Saplinkov, which already tells us a lot. Dave is known for his dragging side pressure that is completely overwhelming. Trying to stop Dave feels like tying yourself to a freight train and running the opposite direction while wearing Crocs. Not in sport mode. Dave does things that shouldn't even be possible, like just running straight through Michael Todd's King's move without even climbing a single time, and on WAL pin pads. Sometimes Dave's technique gets him into some trouble, but in terms of raw arm wrestling power, he is way, way up there. Moving into the number 6 spot, as well as a great deal of controversy, we have Travis Bajant? I know, I know, just hear me out. Throughout 95% of Travis's career, he doesn't even come close to making this list. However, the Travis Bajant of 2015 was just on a whole other level as compared to any other Travis before or after. People like Dave Chafee are consistently stronger than Travis, but I think that Travis's absolute peak was likely higher, at least in a specific lane. Of course, Travis's hook may not have been that crazy, but when the Travis of 2015 caught his move just perfectly, I think he may have flashpinned anyone on the planet without too much trouble. But there were two guys in 2015 that Travis never pulled and he may have had some trouble with them. Both of these guys are on this list. Starting with the number 5 spot, we have Prime Andre Pushkar. If you guys have never seen the highlights from the 2015 A1 Russian Open, that tournament was terrifying. We see Andre flashpinning every single opponent in the whole tournament, including Dave Chafee and John Brzezink. And he beat them multiple times, so they knew what was coming and still couldn't do anything. I would have been very interested in seeing Travis Bajant have a match with Andre Pushkar in 2015 as they both had a similar style and both flashpinned Dave Chafee easily. It's difficult to know who was stronger that year, but I'm giving the edge to Andre because Andre looked more scary. Moving on to the number 4 strongest arm wrestler in history, you guessed it, Prime Denis Saplinkov. Denis Saplinkov is another puller on this list that destroyed everyone despite not using optimal technique. Denis was so strong that he was beating everyone while competing in multiple sports. He didn't even need to fully commit to arm wrestling to be the number one guy. Of course, the strength that Dennis had that made him so difficult to beat was his bicep. Dennis's bicep just refused to open even against the strongest guys in the world. And what's crazier is that most of the time, Dennis wasn't even top rolling. 
He was low gripping his opponents, gifting them their strongest lane, and it still didn't help. Even Dave Chafee, having access to all his power, could never pin Dennis Saplinkov. The only win he ever got on Dennis was due to a foul. During Dennis's reign, it was clear that he was always stronger than anyone they put up against him, and he would end up in ugly, unorthodox positions, and then he would simply decide to win. No one has ever been able to replicate the amount of success Dennis had while also pulling in the disadvantageous style he pulled in. Dennis's back pressure was off the charts. He managed to lift over 87 kilos on back pressure for three repetitions, and no one has ever been able to beat Dennis's back pressure record, right? Taking the place of the number three strongest arm wrestler in history and the current holder of the back pressure world record, we have Ermes Gasparini. Remember when Dennis lifted 87 kilos? Well, Ermes lifted 92. And this isn't just 92 kilos of force, this is 92 kilos of loaded weight. This means Ermes lift is even more impressive than it sounds because friction was not accounted for. Ermes goes down as the only arm wrestler to take wins off Levon since 2018. And not only that, but it looked like Ermes really could have won this match potentially if it weren't for some inconvenient elbow fouls. And Ermes wasn't just stopping Levon, but he was stopping Levon from a terrible position. Ermes had totally lost his cup and was just barely holding on with some kind of half bicep, half flop press driven thingy. I think a case could be made that Ermes has the strongest arm in the history of the sport. I don't think that anyone else on this list would have been able to hold Levon without their wrist like Ermes did. But as we know, arm wrestling is not only about arm strength, which is why Ermes is only in the number 3 spot. Leading us into the number 2 spot, we have none other than Devin Larratt. And Devin Larratt really plays the opposite role as Ermes. Devin's arm power is honestly pretty underwhelming as compared to a lot of the other people on this list. But Devin makes up for this with his crazy hand and wrist power. I wouldn't have put Devin so high on this list a year ago, but over the last year, Devin has had a match pretty much every month and has just run through everyone he's faced, including the big name pullers. Devin defeated Dave Chafee 6-0, Ermes Gasparini 3-0, Denis Saplinkov 3-0, and Georgie Svek. 6 to 0. And honestly, he made these matches look pretty easy. The only match Devin lost this whole year was against Gennady Kvitvina, but I think that is more due to a stylistic problem rather than a power difference. I think everyone would agree that the sport of arm wrestling is at its peak right now, and considering Devin's recent track record, I have to put him at number 2 even if his technique is a bit ugly sometimes. I consider Devin Lirit to be the favorite against every single person on the planet every single person except for one. And of course, that person is Levon Saganishvili. Levon is just way too good. He's literally the final boss of arm wrestling. The concept of a big gap between the number one and number two guy was brought by Denis Saplinkov a while back, but Levon took that to a whole other level. Nobody has even pinned the guy for like five years. I think peak Levon destroys every single other person on this list. I think the only person who has a chance is Devin Lairt with the king's move just barely getting a stop after a couple of rounds and then bleeding him out. Or maybe Ermes will get him with that flop press someday. But in terms of peak raw arm wrestling power, Levon stands alone. And there you have it. Let me know if you guys agree with my list and if I forgot anyone. Honorable mentions include Cleve Dean, Gennady Kvitvina, and Shaq. Can't wait to see Ermes and Devin get another crack at Levon, hopefully sometime in 2024.